First off, you know, you're heading down the home stretch, you're heading into Big 12s and then NCAAs after that. Where do you feel like the team stands heading into Big 12s? Well, you know, I feel good that we continue to get better as the year went on. Uh, individuals started wrestling better, uh, team collectively wrestled better. Had a little, a little bump, which is part of sports at Ohio U, where the people that wrestled well wrestled well, the people that did and did not. But outside that, it seemed to be a nice steady curve of getting better individually and collectively. What type of performance are you hoping to get out of the team at Big 12s? I know, like you said, you have a couple individuals that are, are likely going to qualify for NCAAs. So what do they need to do at Big 12s? Well, you know, it's, it's two weeks away from the national tournament. So, you know, the one thing you want to see them do is continue to build to where they get their best wrestling out at the NCAA tournament. And the Big 12, you know, with only three additional teams, you know, we know who are wrestling and it's very strong competition. We need to get good matches out, something that we can build on, take forward to the NCAA tournament. And, and of course, the, the main emphasis at this point is qualifying. So, you know, we want to get as many through as we can. You know, right now, uh, you know, we've got an excellent chance of taking three Bubba's assured of going because all four have qualified. All four people are gold standards there. We want to wrestle the best we can, continue to build for the NSA tournament, and we want to make sure that we uh, get as many through uh, as we can. I was going to ask, you mentioned that familiarity. You'll Everybody you'll be seeing at the tournament you've already seen once this year. So how does that help some of the guys' confidence knowing that they, at this point, they know their opponents pretty well? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know that it gives them any stronger sense of confidence, but there's a certain knowledge that you have. You understand uh, who you're wrestling, you understand what his strengths are, you understand how you match up, and, and it gives you an opportunity to try and uh, have a good game plan and try and execute it. That, uh, yeah, I, I mean, they, you, I don't know if you're more confident, but it gives you, you know, having awareness get, increases your comfort level, that you understand what you're dealing with, you understand what you need to do to, to accomplish it. So let's use Corey Stainbrook at 25, that there are three, the top three qualifying, he's wrestled all of them, and he feels very confident that he has an opportunity with each one. He didn't wrestle the Oklahoma, but each one that he did wrestle, if he gets his best match out, he knows that he has an opportunity and he just has to win one of his two matches, whether it's a semifinal match or it's his third and fourth to go. And he feels uh, very excited about it. You know, he's an underdog in it, but he's not, uh, he's in the ballpark. And, uh, you know, as a freshman, he's excited about his chances. So um, it's a whole new uh, ball game. You know, regardless of how you did during the year, it all comes down now. If you put a good match together, you get yourself a national tournament and you get an opportunity to take a good swing at some of your goals.